Hey, good morning, guys. It's Steve Cal 5 juf Hope everyone's doing okay out there. So today I want to show you some stuff I'm doing on FL Rig. Uh, FL Rig has a lot of cool stuff I'm learning about, particularly their cat command interface. And what I've been able to do is I have been able to take a lot of the commands that I used to have on Ham Radio Deluxe and on the Win4 Yesu. Uh, by using cat commands, I am going to be able to use FL Rig to do a lot of the things that I used to use those other programs for. So what I'm going to show you is right over here, uh, this is basically the list of cat commands I've created right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and program some of these and show you how they work. The cat commands, to access them, what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to your configure menu, go to UI, user interface, and you're going to click on this box right here that says embedded tabs. Now what's going to happen is when I click on this, now when I click right here, this little box is going to show up down here and this is the embedded tab this is the uh, embedded uh, tabs that they're talking about right here so as long as you have the embedded tabs box checked when you click right here this will appear and disappear so what i did was i took three different tabs and i configured them for VHF UHF operation for tab A and I put in here VFO memory up memory down power adjustments some of my local favorite channels uh, quick memory bank recall and VFO lock for B I configured this one for CW so I've got a lot of my tones like zero beat spot uh, back in back end off uh, break in squelch and so forth attenuator and power level and then I've got a tab C which is for HF which is again has the VFO quick memory recall VFO lock power adjustments and also the IPO amp 1 and amp 2 so what this does is this gives me the ability now to go in and 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 work a lot of the commands from the computer so I'm not over there fumbling with the the screen and everything in the computer at the same time now I brought over a lot of those common commands into FL rig so now that I don't have to be constantly working tapping on the radio so let me show you how we program a couple of these what you're seeing here is this is after the fact I've gone through and programmed every single one of these here and what I did over here is I've got my little cheat sheet and basically what I've done is I've got tab A, and I've got tab B, and I've got tab C. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through each one of these and show you kind of how you do that because there are a couple of uh, commands where I have to use the shift key. For example, command number four um, it's a dual function command. If I use the shift key, my power is going to go to 25 watts. If I go to uh, just without the shift key, it'll go to 5 watts. So let me demonstrate that real quick. So on my power right now, you see right now I'm at 20 watts. So let me click this once. Now it's going to adjust uh, the power down to 5. You see how that just went to 5? Now, when I sh press the shift key, it's going to go to 25. So I'm pressing the shift key on the computer, and I'm touching this, and you see how it just went to 25? So that's the way this works is some of these have dual functions. So for example, uh, if I want to go over here to this one here, like on CW, and I want to set the power to 5 watts, if I just click the button, it's going to go to 5. But if I press the shift button, it's going to go to 10. There it goes. Now it went to 5. Now I'm going to press the shift button. It's going to go to 10. Oh, shift and 10. There we go. I'll have to troubleshoot that. Okay, it finally went to 10. It's just a little slow. So let's do this. I'm going to go in and I'm going to erase, for example, I'm going to erase tab A and I'm going to put it back to the factory defaults. And then I'm going to take you through step by step how I program each one of these buttons. So just kind of take a visual picture of what this looks like here. 
and I'm going to go back and I'm going to erase everything and we'll program it. Okay, I've got everything erased, so everything, this is what you will normally see is this, these blocks here. But let me reference something. There is an important piece of uh, paperwork or manual that you'll need, and that is the CAT operation reference manual. And this has all of the CAT commands and the protocol with how to enter them. All of my CAT commands are set commands only, meaning I'm just adjusting, the, I'm telling the radio what to do. I'm not actually reading or writing anything into the radio because I'm kind of scared to do that. I don't want to break it. So everything I'm doing now is just basically the set command, which means it's just sending a signal to, for the radio to do a certain function. All right, so let me show you how I program these. Let's go ahead and go to tab number one. So the way this will work is to access these, what you will need to do is go to configure, go to send command, and then click commands. Now what you're seeing here, one tabs one through four are right here, and these are tabs five through eight. So you see how that works? So what you do is you give it a label, and then you have two possibilities. You have just a normal function that will go here, but if you put something here, if you press the shift key, this line will execute. So let me demonstrate. Let's do a VFO to memory. Right now I'm in VFO mode, so let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is from my shortcut, I'm going to copy this here. Now watch this. All I do is copy this line right here. Now what's important is you will see that there is a semicolon at the very end, which is a period and a comma. That's important, you have to have that on every one of these lines and you see that here. So let's demonstrate how this works. Let's close it out. Now, now this button, button is active. So when I press this button, watch what happens. I'm gonna go into VFO mode. Okay, there I am on my VFO. Now I'm back to VFOA, memory mode. And if I change the memory locations over here, that's our local repeater I just changed it to. So you see how that works? It's just a toggle. All right, let's program number two. I'm gonna go to config, I'm gonna go to commands. Now let's copy this command. I'm gonna go memory up. It's gonna be the name of it right there. And all I do is I just copy this line right here, stick it here. Uh, it seems to wanna to add a little mark there. I'm going to remove that because this, everything past the semicolon is just a comment. All right, that looks good. And while we're in here, let's go ahead and do memory down. And we'll copy that line. I'll, let me let me copy the command first. That's the command. See the semicolon? Three spaces and I'm going to put the comment. That might be a little better. All right, that seems to work. All right, let's test that. Now, let's go back to memory mode. Now I'm going to go memory up. See how I'm going up through my memory banks? Now I'm going memory down. All right, let's do the next one. Go back to transceiver, send commands, go to commands. Command number four is going to be power at 5 and 25. So this one's a little different. So let's, let's, uh, I'll show you how this works. So what I do here is I say, if I click the button, I'm going to get, uh, power of 5 watts and the little sign that the, right next to the 25 that represents the shift key so if I press the shift key combined with this button I'll go to 25 watts so let me demonstrate so what we'll do first is I'll copy the first command line which is power 5 watts and then I'm going to copy this here and then I'm going to copy the second line right here both of them are command 4 but this one is incorporates the shift key. So I'm going to copy PC025 here. And now I'm going to copy with shift RF power 25 watts. So like if, if the guys can't hear me, I can turn up the power pretty easy. So let's test that real quick. We're at 30 watts right now. Let's do a test. So I'm going to click it once without the shift key. It should go to 5. All right. Now, if I press the shift key, it's going to take advantage of that second line, which will go back to 25. So the beauty is, if I'm talking to somebody on the radio and they say turn up the power, I don't have to go fumbling on the 991A while I'm trying to talk, trying to look at the computer screen. All right, cool. Now let me show you how to set a memory location. I've got two favorite channels. 
go to send commands, go to commands. The way you set a memory location is I'm going to set memory location two, which is our local chat channel. See, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to number five. There's the label. MC002 is the command to the radio. And then, of course, there's a semicolon. That's local chat number two, channel two, memory location two. Now I've got our repeater. Uh, this is the title again right here, memory location 10. Now I'm going to copy the command to the radio. This will tell it to go to memory location 10. And I'm going to put, uh, this is just a comment line. Everything past the semicolon is just a comment line. So let's test that. All right. Now I want to go to my favorite chat channel. Boom. If I want to go to the repeater, boom. So that's how that works in memory mode. Now the next one I'll show you is called quick memory banks. I have a quick memory bank set up. And what I'll show you here is the way we do this is go back to setup, send commands, go to commands. Quick memory bank is uh, five pre-programmed favorites that I have. So if I want to jump around on uh, six meter or, or 10 meter or 10 meter FM, I can do that. The command for that is QR, that's the command. And then I'm going to put the comment line here. And uh, let's do one more. Let's do the uh, VFO lock. So if I want to lock the VFO, say if I'm in memory mode, I can lock the VFO. So the first command line will be lock zero, which means it unlocks it. And I'll copy the, copy the uh, line right there. Now, let's copy this one here. This one with the shift key locks the VFO. All right, so let's test those real quick. All right, now here, now I'm in uh, with my quick memory bank recall. These have the five channels. So you see how that works there? 28400, 29600, and so forth. That looks, that's pretty cool. And then, of course, to lock my VFO would be uh, press the shift key, and now the VFO is locked. If I press it again without the shift key, it will unlock it. Okay, well, that completes the programming for tab A. And I think what I'll do is, instead of trying to jam this all into uh, one video, I'll make a separate video, and I will show you how I program tab B, which will include zero beats, spot on, spot off, back in, break in, off and on. Uh, the squelch command, which is a pretty cool thing. I added this fact feature I'll show you. Uh, I can't, for some reason, I can't get squelch to come up in my menus up here, so I kind of cheated. I had a little, got a little system set up here. So what I do now is, is if I click it once, the squelch goes to five. And if I press the shift key, it jumps the squelch back up to 25. So that's the way I can toggle the squelch instead of having a, a variable adjustment, which I don't have. Uh, the other thing I've got is the RF attenuator. And of course here on CW, I've got it set up for power at five watts. And if I press the shift key uh, in conjunction with this, it'll jump to 10 watts. All right, I'll do another video. This is kind of a lot to jam in, but you get the fundamental idea is uh, is how to program. But the critical tool that you need is this uh, cat manual. And what I'll show you real quick is what it does is it will give you uh, the set command, which is what I use. And you can just kind of follow the protocol. Uh, let's see here. Uh, find something real easy here to do. Break in is a good one, for example. All I do on the break in code is I have, I just enter the code BI and of course P1. Now P1 in this case is going to be a zero or a one. So depending on what I put here in the command line, if I put a zero, break in will turn off. If I put a one, break in will turn on. And I'll show you that on the next video too. Uh, let me look real quick here. Actually, I can do it right now. Go to configure, setup, commands. Let me go to your break end. Here's your break end command right here. See right there, break end. Uh, I've got right here break end on, which is BI1. Turns on the break end for the uh, the tone or, or the uh, the key. And I've got here BI0, which turns the break off. So, okay, I'll just wrap this up. We'll do another video on tabs B and C. All right, thanks for watching, 73.